Excuse me, would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. No problem. Go up the stairs behind me and turn left at the top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Got it. I'm Tara. Oh, the new girl. I'm Francis. Ashante. Oh, you speak French? Well, no. I speak Spanish, though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. I think I've gotten a bit turned around. Do you know the way to my Grandma Hazel's house? You're nearly there. It's just down that third path, opposite the giant bell. Yes, I am that Angus. Excuse me? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. Oh, yes, I thought that was you. What with this being a, a bakery and all. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's obvious. My little claim to fame. Welcome to the island. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. Hey! As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. Well, actually... I think I've gotten a bit turned around. Do you know the way to my Grandma Hazel's house? Yes, it's just outside of town. Turn around and keep walking past the town hall and keep on past the old bell and you'll see a dirt track. If you follow that dirt path, you will reach Hazel's house. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi, I'm Hazel Wild's granddaughter, Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Or... Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you.
blasted, rusty old crank. <laughs> I ought to blast you. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. My charm will bind, turn, and unwind. Ha 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 ha! Look at it go! Uh... Grandma? <gasps> oh, it's you! Oh, my little honeybee! <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. No, I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but... Maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh, well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Just head over to one of the garden beds there and... and... You're natural. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. You can fill it up at this old well. There now. That should do it. They'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better. Yeah, if they're not the kind that poison you. You'll do just fine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, it might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall, a big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. You can't miss it. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. All right, here I am, farming. <laughs> This place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. this mine? It looked way less run down when I was seven. But so did everything around here. Spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. 
Have you found any mushrooms? Will these work? Those are nice, plump ones. You're a natural forager. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside, remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> it was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the supports rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. I'm a bit tired just now. Potatoes will take a while to grow. Keep watering them every day. You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. I gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints to all his tools right here. Thanks, Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but I'll try for us. Oh, hello! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new voter! I mean, neighbor! Uh, hi! Uh, yes, that's, that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end, we want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus a little bit creepy. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, come and see me after you've met everyone.
Oh, hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> Hello. Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. Who's your mom? Nina. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. I'm Finn. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? Oh my gosh, you've got to be Tara! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. Anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. There's a plaque that reads, This beloved tree be old as the town itself. There's... whispering? What is that? Something spooky and weird is going on here.
I better not just yet. I bet. Am I ready for bed? Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And your, your shirt had the right number of, uh, gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth? Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> I'm just kidding, honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm, chop them up for me, and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Uh, you'll need this to get started. <laughs> Don't forget to water those Hi there, I'm Parker, Lena's husband. How you settling in? I'm getting there. I hear you. I moved here from the city myself ten years ago. Oh. How long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy right now, so I wanted to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Yes, that would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Great. Follow me. There you are, and you brought Tara. Wonderful. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again. <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's terrible. Uh, see? 
That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. Hey, bro. Hey, but, uh, I I'm not a bro. Uh, my name's Kai. Check it out. This is my kiosk. I'm here, you know, whenever. It's like uh, a pop-up shop. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off-island. Take a look, but like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it now. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment, you know? Okay. I see you found the barn. This is it? I went looking for it, but I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Remember the time I milked Bessie and she kicked over the milk bucket? I hid in the barn because I thought you would be mad. <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk. Or a barn that got blown down in a storm, I suppose. I had to give up keeping cattle. So does that mean this is... Yeah, the chicken coop. Well, after Merlin passed, I didn't have a dog to guard the chickens, and they kept getting picked off. I chopped up the coop for firewood. Oh, that's a shame. Do you think we could restore them? Well, I'm sure we could, but after that old ranch closed up, the nearest place to get more animals is miles away. Uh, if Mayor Otto would bestir himself to do something about that, then fixing up these buildings would be light work for Parker. Potatoes will take a while. Keep watering them. Every day. If you wander around the farm, you'll find logs lying on the ground. Could you chop some of those for me? <sighs> I just love the peace here. I guess that's why I've never moved anywhere else. Do you 
think that's strange? No, Grandma. I think it's peaceful here too. Well, maybe we're both strange. <laughs> My watering can is already full. 